Chapter 691, Secret of Dao Sense Speak. As their first emperor, immortal Emperor Wan Shi heralded an extraordinary era for the future of the Gunams. However, he was another emperor full of mysteries and didn't leave behind any lineage or inheritance either. There were even rumors stating that the emperor didn't take in a disciple at all. Moreover, he seemed to disappear overnight. No one knew how he managed to do so or where he went. His whereabouts were a mystery to the stone medicine world, and something even stranger was that some thought that he was still in this world. In short, although he was the first golem emperor, there were very few items or findings related to him. However, this palm print ahead was one of the few things from the emperor that could be researched. Legend states that during the desolate era, after immortal emperor Wan Shi shouldered heaven's will, he traveled across the world and stumbled upon Alpine Mountain. After enjoying the beautiful sceneries here, he went on top of a peak and left behind a palm print. Later on, this peak became the famous Dao Sense Peak, and the object of numerous theories and legends. One legend stated that when the emperor left behind his paw print, it also left behind his Dao lineage that merely awaited the right inheritor. Others said that it wasn't a complete Dao lineage, but an invincible secret heart of this world. Another conjecture was that this place contained a map. If one could understand this map, then they would be able to find the location where the emperor left behind his treasury. In short, regardless of the theory, everyone from future generations believed that the emperor did indeed leave behind a mystery here that year. It could be a merit law or the Dao lineage of an immortal emperor, or maybe a treasure map. Because of this, for tens of millions of years, people had always come here to learn, but no one had heard of any success. However, there was another rumor that stated that the Alpine Tree Father had obtained something from this place. The story claimed that after the Tree Father obtained intelligence and shape from the Dao, he came to this cliff to learn and gain the Emperor's secret art. Because of this, he was finally able to become a demon forefather. Alpine Mountain and even the Alpine Tree Father himself neither denied nor confirmed this particular rumor. Thus, Outsiders didn't know whether the Tree Father had obtained something in this place or not. All in all, as long as there was a chance to enter Alpine Mountain, any cultivator, especially the younger ones who valued themselves greatly, would come to Dao Sen's peak to ponder the mysteries left behind by mortal Emperor Wan Chi. Alpine Mountain did not stop cultivators from going to the peak to search for enlightenment. In fact, this was not a big deal to them. It could even be said that the mountain was not afraid of anyone understanding the profundities within because, for tens of millions of years, countless brilliant geniuses were unable to do so. Thus it was impossible for others even if they tried. However, even though everyone knew that it was impossible, they never gave up and continued to come and test themselves. This time, during the Tree Father's birthday, many guests and young geniuses didn't mind traveling the long distance. Since they were already here, they wouldn't miss the opportunity to come meditate at Dao Sen Speak. Unfortunately, during the last couple of days, countless people had come and gone, but no one's efforts yielded any fruit. Groups came and went despite all of them knowing that they would leave empty-handed, but they still did not give up since it would be a waste of a trip to Alpine Mountain. Well, there is basically nothing on this cliff, and at this time, Many young cultivators were at the cliff, wanting to unravel the mysteries. However, after a very long time, they still hadn't found anything, so one of the cultivators chose to give up. There is definitely something there. A more gifted person spoke, I can clearly sense the fluctuations within these Dao runes, it's as if they are full of imperial aura. It is absolutely true that immortal Emperor Wan Shi left behind a secret heart here, so what? The cultivator who gave up said, countless geniuses have tried for millions of years and found no way of learning it. I don't have a chance anyway, might as well give up now. After the group that had given up left. New groups came, coming to ponder on the paw print. At this time, Li Kai's carriage slowly climbed the peak. The moment he arrived at the cliff, the many cultivators here immediately glanced at him, especially the younger ones. They all stared at the carriage. Of course, their eyes weren't on a nobody like Li Kai, but on Madame Ziyan instead. A beautiful demon king like her would attract attention no matter where she went. Lady Ziyan, we meet again. Before the carriage stopped, a young man with a mature look came to greet her. He had golden hair, bold tiger-like eyes, and a lion-like forehead, a rather heroic appearance. He quickly walked forward, and each of his steps emitted powerful roars. His strength was clear at a single glance. Although this person was not too old, one absolutely must not underestimate him. He, along with Madame Ziyan, were both the rulers of their countries. He was the royal lord of the Lion Country with the title Lion Young King. The Lion Young King was one of Madame Ziyan's many suitors, so he was very excited after seeing her and immediately came to give his greetings. The Madame slightly nodded and said after seeing his approach, Lion Young King, long time no see. The young king gazed at the madam with a pair of eyes full of adoration and quickly smiled in response. It has been five years since our last meeting. Miss Ziyan is not only prettier, but your cultivation has become even more amazing. You are no weaker than any contemporary genius. Many people were looking at the madam, and of course, some of the younger ones wanted to come and start a conversation. However, they must be sensible regarding their own status and power. She was a great demon king, so how could ordinary cultivators have the courage or qualifications to come greet her? Among the entire stone medicine world, very few young cultivators were able to reach the heavenly king realm. The madam only nodded with a smile, but the lion young king was afraid of giving up a good chance to travel together. Before the madam could say anything else, he quickly added, Miss Ziyan, I heard that your giant bamboo country was still searching for talent, an alchemist to represent your country in the conference. I wonder if you have found one, if not, then I can introduce you to some. I know a few alchemists, all of whom are quite famous. You don't have to worry about that, 
the giant bamboo country already has an alchemist for the conference. Before the man could answer, a different voice responded. Of course, the speaker was Li Kai. He, who was previously resting, now had his eyes open and interrupted them with a smirk. Li Kai's sudden interjection left the Lion Young King a bit stunned. In fact, everyone was a bit stunned. It could even be said that all of them were only looking at the madam, and not many of them even caught a glimpse of him. This is. At this time, the Lion Young King finally took a look at Li Kai. After seeing that there was nothing special about him, he immediately paid him no mind. If it wasn't out of consideration for the madam, a ruler like him wouldn't even bother talking to Li Kai, the giant bamboo country's alchemist. Before the madam could introduce him, Li Kai smiled and slowly responded in her stead. It's an honor to meet you at last. The Lion Young King lightly said to Li Kai before he stopped looking at him. If it wasn't for the madam, a nobody like Li Kai wouldn't even be worthy to speak with him. The young king wanted to talk to the madam, but she didn't seem to be very interested and spoke to Li Kai instead. Young master, we are here at Dao Sen speak. Would you like to go closer for a look? Very well. Since we are here, we might as well take a look at it. Li Kai smiled and stretched out his hand. The madam didn't say anything and held his hand to help him down from the carriage. This scene caused many people to be quite annoyed. In their eyes, Li Kai was acting too big. He actually wanted assistance to descend from his carriage. Moreover, it was from a character of Madame Ziyan's level. Keep in mind that very few youngsters present were qualified to even speak with her. They must at least be characters at the same level as the Lion Young King. But now, a nobody like Li Kai was being helped down from the carriage by the madam. This was showboating beyond reason. Countless people were both jealous and envious in their minds, especially the youths who admired the madam. The only thing they wanted to do right now was to completely annihilate Li Kai, but they could only mentally barrage him with curses. The Lion Young King was about to explode from exasperation as well. He had been pursuing the madam for a very long time, but there was no reciprocation. And now, this nobody was able to enjoy such nice treatment. How could the young king not go crazy when the madam was showing Li Kai so much favor? However, such a thing to Li Kai was natural, and he even took it for granted. After getting off the carriage, he went closer to the straight cliff ahead, accompanied by the madam. What a braggart. Some people secretly scowled after seeing Li Kai acting so pompously. Even if Li Kai wasn't arrogant, in the eyes of others, he was putting on a show, making others quite uncomfortable. Who was to blame when he had a beauty such as the madam accompanying him? Li Kai stood before the cliff and looked at the palm print on it before casually saying, needing to meditate about such a simple thing. What a joke. 